initially I, you know, decided to do some light custom, well, mods to the car, you know, like the body kit and the wheels, strut bars, sway bars, and those kind of things. But now, you know, it's time to get a little bit more serious. Uh, we're talking about some of the mechanical mods to actually enhance the um, performance of the FRS and some of the things that I feel that needs upgrading of course are things like the brakes you know, so I have these uh, blue Brembo brakes actually came off a uh, 08 to 2012 STI because they, they they fit perfect on FRS I guess because you know the whole Subaru chassis and so on Four pot brakes. I got the uh, the rotors. I got the DBA heavy duty rotors. Um, drill slotted to to fit nicely with with the Brembos. So that that's good. And, and I say might as well change everything else. Like the uh, put some steel braided lines on the car and some some new brake pads. So, so these are some of the upgrades that. I like to put. Yeah, so this is basically the second phase of, of, of building and upgrading or modifying for me as far as the FRS is concerned. Now, now I'm going to get serious with the uh, mechanical stuff such as the cooling system, the brakes, and of course the turbo kit and take it from there and see what else needs upgrading of course. Getting ready for the turbo which is, which is coming in, in about a day or two, um, I figure I might as well upgrade the uh, the cooling system because you know with the turbo you know everything runs hot and so just to be safe I wanted to upgrade like the radiator put a two row radiator co uh, coil radiator which is uh, much bigger than a stock one and uh, also the uh, full blown oil cooler you know to to make sure that the the oil is is um is staying cool if you will, you know, so that I don't worry so much when I'm running the turbo. Um, and then of course I also have the uh, lightweight pulley just to add some, you know, better revving. Since it's lightweight, it's lighter than the, uh, the stock pulley, it'd probably be better as far as revving is concerned. Yeah, it might not be as fun to replace the radiator or the oil cooler, but to me at least they're kind of essential, especially when I'm going to be boosting and going to be putting a turbo kit. So. In a way, it helps me have fun because, of course, when I have the turbo kit, then I'll be boosting a lot and I don't want to have any heat issues when that happens. First thing I had to do is, is, is take the bumper out, you know, and then now I'm going to put the other stuff like the oil cooler and and the radiator. started spilling. Good thing I put an oil pan underneath. Well, you know, with all the parts that I have, I figure I might as well start installing them myself. If I can, you know, save some money. And just, you know, it's just more fun to do it, you know, on my own. So I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the radiator. Even replacing the radiator is not, it's not really that simple, you know. I just, you gotta take all these things out, as you can see, and whew, just more work than I thought.
day, so uh, finally took out the radiator. As you can see, can you tell the difference between the two? Which one's bigger? This one is much thicker. This is the one I'm going to put in. This is the one I just took out. And, uh, I tell you, it's a bitch to take this thing out. A whole lot of work. It's just, just for the radiator. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Here it is, sir. Time to install the oil cooler. Stop playing around. This is the uh, so uh, make sure I have the keep the oil cool, especially when I put the turbo on. This would be very important. It'd be an essential upgrade, if you will. Get get this still. Thing rolling. deal with these things. So all these modifications, they do take time. Really, you really have to enjoy doing it. It's not like something that is really plug and play, even though they say it's plug and play, it's not really like that. You may have to do modifications, you may have to cut things here and there just to make things fit and uh, I said you, you kind of risk everything in a way because you're risking your warranty too you know, that's what happens when you start tinkering with stuff 
I think is really what it seems for the most part. I got all these parts laying around, you know, I'm just I'm waiting to install everything, but it's one at a time. Right now, the only thing I got on was, is the oil cooler, and, and, and hopefully, I can, I can install a few other things as well. Let's see. Let's see how it goes.